I was commissioned by Heli Neymat who wanted to do a design stand based on uh, a link between de Buffet's work, the paintings he wanted to feature, and his interest in um, art from outside mainstream culture, from, including art from mental patients. So we decided, I, I researched his life, I researched the history of art from outside mainstream culture, and figured that in the 1920s he was introduced to mental patients work by a German doctor whose book he was given. And in the mid 40s he went actually to Switzerland and visited the doctor and saw work of the patients and he was fascinated by it and it started uh, an exploration that went on his whole life of the, trying himself to explore the freedom that these people seem to have in their work. Um, so we decided to actually build part of an asylum, mental asylum, as if it's in France in 1945. And um, we researched the patient artworks from 1900s up to 1950, and we, um, we wanted to be sensitive to them. We didn't want to copy their work. Some of those patients have gone on to be known artists, so we wanted to, to represent the kind of works they were doing. Um, and so we commissioned a team of uh, artists, some of them art students who have just finished college, some of them scenic painters from the professional world, a calligrapher and a caricaturist, to work based on the references come up with new pieces of work, so original works that are sensitive and relevant to the kinds of things that those patients would have been doing. Uh, the Venice Biennale and various um, shows they've put outside are opposite well-known artists and I read a piece particularly that, that said if that was going to happen then it would be nice if people related the context between the two. So they didn't just put up Un an unknown relatively artist opposite a really famous artist. So we tried, I responded to that and tried to answer that by showing the, the background story, showing a bit more of the relationship of the, the beginning of those artists with the artists that we were exhibiting. We could have just done literally uh, art from people outside mainstream culture and put it on a wall opposite but we wanted to explain the story and explain the background so I felt we did a atmospheric soundtrack it has noise of real hospital corridors it has some um, footsteps walking past and then it intersperses that with uh, popular music from the 1940s so Leo Marjan is a French singer I'd never heard of before I found her and she was one of the most popular singers in France we felt even though these people are confined inside uh, an asylum they would possibly, that's what they would hear, they would hear popular culture from the world outside and that was important to, um, to kind of feature. We've also got a song which is Leo Marjan singing Over the Rainbow which um, felt slightly romantic and escapist and kind of appropriate um, even though it's fantastical. I went to art college, so I went to Hornsey College of Art. Um, I'm a furniture designer, is what I studied, and I ended up working in the film industry, um, and I work on feature films. I was commissioned by the gallery last year to do an exhibition called, for a film called The Collector, where we recreated a 1968 apartment in Paris, and I did the soundtrack and broadcast television from the period, trying to make it as almost like you'd walked into a film, but in real life. So they love that, and so they commissioned me this year to do this one. Last year I was fascinated by, I stayed every day the exhibition was open, and I talked to people, and I, it was lovely to see their reactions. When I work in film I don't see that because we finish the film and I don't meet the audience. Um, so it was nice to talk to them and to watch people's expressions as they related to the installation and the art. And I took photographs in black and white of them as they did that. And afterwards we, we did a slideshow to 
embody the kind of peace and actually those photographs of the people's looking uh, their faces and their expressions when they were looking were the most memorable things because they just took you back to exactly that moment when the people first saw the installation. I'm not exactly sure what my next project will be. I'm due to do another f feature film, which is actually a sort of mental health-based story, but it's a um, it's a comic tragedy. So that will be happening uh, beginning of next year. Thank you.